before. Um, I'm joined today by... Who are you? Beatrice. Beatrice. Um, and Beatrice has her little clarinet here today. She really wanted to do a video with me today, and she also said it was important that we wear dresses, so we are doing that. Um, the clarinet she's playing is um, it's a Nouveau Dude. I'll include a link to where you can get those. Um, uh, they are really fantastic for the price, like pretty durable. They've got some pretty pretty neat features. Like the ligature is like a is like a lever, so like you can't misplace it. It they comes with two synthetic reeds, and they make it really easy to place it. It's got little silicone like key covers. Very cool. And the thumb rest is adjustable. Like plenty of actual student model clarinets don't have adjustable thumb rests. So that's, that's pretty cool. So she's got that. I've got my instrument here. And today what we're working on is, I've noticed something these past few days when I've been editing my videos that has shaken me to my foundation. And that is my left pinky is curling. And it's curling badly, as you can see here and here. We addressed this back, I think, on day 10 and possibly some other point, but uh, it apparently needs some more work. So what we're going to do is kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to work on a passage that was really kicking my butt yesterday in Morrow's Latin, or a couple passages possibly. Mommy, what was kicking your butt? Some of my music. It was really hard, so we say it was kicking my butt. Why? I don't know. That's a great question. So we're going to work on that today. <laughs> We're gonna work on that today, uh, and I'm gonna use a trick I've I used previously in an earlier video where I'm gonna put um, a little bit of painter's tape over my pinky while it's in a curved position so that um, it's not gonna completely inhibit movement, but it's gonna be like a, a reminder to myself to keep it curved. So I'm gonna do some slow practice of those passages with some tape on my pinky. Stay tuned to the end if you want to hear Beat and I play the world's shortest duet on our clarinets. And let's dive in. So I'm ready to practice. I've got a piece of painter's tape here because this is what was closest at hand. I'm going to curve my pinky the way I want it to stay. I'm just going to rest this on top. I'm not like fully wrapping it around. When you start to straighten it or curl it, um, you do feel the slight pull of the tape and so that just helps provide some support and encouragement for the right hand position. I'll try to show you the measures I'm working on as I do them. We're gonna focus today on some really down-tempo practice. That's where the changes in habit really happen. And then going fast is when you're just, it's recitation of what you learned when you were going slow. So that's my thinking here. tape is a little bit too large. Uh, I'm also going to try this in a few different rhythms too. If you need more reps on something technical but you feel like your brain is zoning out, um, practicing in rhythms obviously very classic. So. The classics are classic for a reason. Oh. And then afterwards it feels so much easier. On to the other spot. This is that passage in thirds that I was talking about yesterday. It's one of those where it's like, as long as I don't get too in my fingers about it, I can play it just fine. But we need to, uh, we need to idiot-proof this a little bit more, so some slow practice is going to help with that. I liked, I appreciated the gentle reminder that the tape gave. Come stand, stand next to me. Ready? You count us in. Will you tell us when to One, two, three, go! Oh, 
But wait, you gotta make sound though. Ready? Count us in. Count us in. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Come back and let's take a bow. Let's feel like this. Did you bow? Yes. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Alright, can you say bye? Bye. See you for day 25. Sure. All right, last video, okay? What are we doing in this video, Beat? I could be a cow. You're going to be a cow? You're going to be <sighs> um, a chicken. Okay. Do we, when do we start? Um, when, when the boat I count on you, and then we can go. Okay, that sounds good. One, two, three, four, go! <laughs> Are we done?